After all that, a happy ending. <laughs> Up until episode 10, all of the episode titles for Better Call Saul season 6 followed the same pattern. Why did it suddenly stop? Why does the title of Better Call Saul season 6, episode 10 deviate from what came before? It's called Mutually Assured Destruction. Better Call Saul, created by Vince Gilligan and Peter Gould, is recognized for its painstaking narrative and attention to visual detail. This philosophy even extends to the episode names, which occasionally combine to form patterns. Season 3 of Better Call Saul featured episodes with the titles Slip and Fall, while seasons 4 to 5 featured the progressively unsettling titles Something Beautiful, Something Stupid, and Something Unforgivable. In Better Call Saul Season 1, every episode name ended with a O, aside from one legally mandated change. Better Call Saul Season 6's episode titles have all used the same X and Y format, Wine and Roses, Plan and Execution, Fun and Games. After following that pattern for a whole nine episodes, however, Better Call Saul Season 6, Episode 10 is simply titled Nippy after the made-up dog Jimmy uses to catch Marion's attention. Why break the formula? You want in the game. The game? What, what game? Dropping the X and Y structure signifies how Better Call Saul Season 6, Episode 10 should be considered a clean break from the preceding nine installments. Wine and Roses to Fun and Games comprise the final chapters of Jimmy McGill's prequel storyline, then Nippy flicks over to Jean, a completely different era telling a totally separate story, where black and white replaces color. Episode 10 can be viewed as the beginning of an epilogue or mini-season primarily focused upon Jean Takavik and the future beyond Breaking Bad. Show you the game, and then we're done. To help accentuate that stark gear shift, the nippy title sequence even substitutes Better Call Saul's usual opening for the blue screen that appears when a VHS tape stops. Better Call Saul Season 6 wants everyone to know the endgame has officially arrived. What are Better Call Saul's final episodes actually about? With every plot thread now resolved, even in Gene's timeline, what could Better Call Saul's final run of episodes actually be about? A. Very. Brief teaser for episode 11 shows a car stopping at a literal crossroads, hinting at a life-changing choice Gene will need to make. Nippy might tease the nature of this choice too. During Better Call Saul season 6's mall heist, Gene fakes an emotional breakdown to distract a security guard, but the performance quickly becomes real as his thoughts turn toward Chuck and Kim, forcing Gene into admitting he's completely alone. I have a wife, right Frank? Better Call Saul's final episodes could be about Jimmy trying to rebuild relationships, and if we assume that doesn't involve a ritual for bringing brothers back from the dead, hunting down Kim and seeking reconciliation seems the strongest guess. Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul's cameos as Walter White and Jesse Pinkman are still to come also. Better Call Saul must surely dip back into Breaking Bad's timeline to make those guest appearances work, their confirmed scene together especially, although Walt alone may feature in Gene's sequel story. Two major cameos and a potential Kim Wexler reunion are, however, all the clues Better Call Saul has given ahead of this upcoming closing trilogy. Remarkable. <laughs> Better Call Saul writer Alison Tatlock previously explained devoting an entire episode to Gene as a way to shift gears into the series' final stretch. Despite being praised for its writing, there have always been breaking bad fans who raise issues with the prequel's slower episodes. Specifically, entries that don't involve the threat of gunfire. For some, Nippy might feel like a break in the final season's pacing, especially for those counting the seconds until Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul appear on the screen. Before Jeff was recast and revealed to be an inconvenient buffoon, many theorized the creepy cabbie was an undercover cop. Instead of a police chase, episode 10 was a classic caper in Jimmy's first foray into criminality since becoming Gene, who's returned to his old ways a little more than a month after the death of Heisenberg. Better Call Saul finally confirmed Gene's timeline is set in October 2010. After leaving Saul behind and changing his identity, Jimmy couldn't bear more than a few months of mundane life as Gene. His latest schemes are arguably a result of Jeff finding out his identity, but robbing a department store is far from the only to deal with that situation. Furthermore, Gene became more charismatic, if not alive throughout the episode as his plan came together. When he puts back on Marco's pinky ring, it bodes as well for Slip Bin Jimmy as Jeff actually being an undercover cop. Based on the teaser for episode 11, Better Call Saul is poised to spend even more time with Gene. As Schnoz is almost certainly aware, plenty of fans are just fine you know with what? that. You forget all about it.